As this one's for you, mate. You know, uh, it's obviously a very long journey for you, eh? You've had the highest highs, the lowest lows. You've had some of the craziest stories to go out throughout your life, mate. So how much does this one mean to you going into a rematch with somebody that's already beaten you before? And what are the differences in this fight compared to the last one for yourself? I think that it could be that perfect moment. Like, all set up to to tomorrow night. Uh, Sam's a, a really good fighter, uh, and last time I fought him, like's been said, it wasn't even close. Uh, I think two of the rounds were 10-8 uh, in that fight, but we're three years on from there now, and I feel like when you're fighting for Octagon and you want to be a champion of the biggest organisation in Europe, you've got to beat the best, and Sam sits there at the moment number one in Europe as a flyweight uh, and that challenge excites me that's what I'm here for that's what I want and I feel like I've closed the gap have I closed it enough truthfully I don't know but I'm going to give it everything I've got to become that world champion tomorrow night and I like nothing but respect for Sam uh, skill set and as a person he's lucky there's two people in the middle of us now or I would be over there uh, but no it, it's that's that's a challenge that's what it's about I'm headlining Octagon for the second time in the UK in Birmingham you know what an opportunity and the only pressure is the pressure I put on myself because I really want that belt so tomorrow night it's it's, it's up to me to go and take it Cheers, mate. And, uh, there's a man standing behind us that's filming some content for your YouTube channel. And I know that he's been messaging you every single day asking who's taking that flyweight belt home. So I want to hear it from you, mate. Who's taking that flyweight, uh, flyweight belt home? Aaron! Hey, B! <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Sam, this one's for you, mate. <laughs> um... Obviously, it's already been stated, former flyweight champion yourself, coming over from Cage Warriors. What was it that enticed you to come over to, uh, to Octagon? How has the experience been so far, and uh, what was it that interested you in the promotion? Uh, brilliant so far. You know, I've been well looked after since I've been here. Uh, the promotion's obviously, like, pushing the social media side loads. I've really enjoyed that. Um, I've been interested in this fight for a while. I thought it was going to be taken away from me when Garcia was still the champion. Um, but I put my hat into the ring four or five weeks ago, and uh, here we are now. I get the chance to fight for another, another world title, become two promotion world champion, and you know, show I'm a world class athlete again. Look at me, can't wait to see it. So, uh, I know both of you guys have got dogs. Once this is all said and done, you're gonna take Lenny through and have a little dog walk, mate, and yeah. see how that one goes. Or... <laughs> you know. I could probably do that with him and still fight him next week as well, <laughs> to, to be fair. Like, we, I went, uh, when, he, when he signed and I, I sent him a message saying, like, uh, all the best and Octagon's a, a great promotion. And I said to him before, happy birthday. And I put, oh, I take happy birthday back. But, you know, that's just the type of people we are. And uh, when we fight on the night, you know, when we're in there, we're, we're both going to try everything to win but as people we can we can still be respectful like take the dogs out for a walk Sunday and we'll we'll do another five Monday and it'll all be good nice,